Ruby here and Merry Christmas everybody. Um I just got finished with opening presents. And so I guess for the start of the video I'll do go over the cards and then I will go to the floor to do the presents because they won't fit on this desk. So I guess first up we'll go with um the two cards I got today because the other four I got in the post. So this first one is this cute. Oh, you little hedgehogs on the bottom too. Anyway, this one's from a uh, family friend. Then this one a bit of American history, our first Union flag, January second, seventeen seventy six. Huh. That's cool. Then this is from Mom Dad. That's pretty cool. I can't remember if I've actually seen a 10. I mean a 20. So I know I've seen a 5 and a 10. Because like, on the back of the 10 is uh, Jane Austen. <clears throat> so on the back of the 20 is... Who was that? Joseph. Mallard William Turner, 1775 to 1851. That was pretty cool. Cool. Oh. It's got holographic stuff on it as well. Uh, anyway. Then here, shiny. This one is from ah, my friend Juin. It's very nice. And he included a little sketch of my name. That's cute. Who is that? Black. Glitter gel pen. Well, it's shiny anyway, so that's cool. And to top it off, he drew it on top of a <laughs> priority mail sticker, which is nice because then I can just take this off and directly stick it into my scrapbook pen instead of needing tape. <laughs> so that's that. So this one, it's got a cute Santa sticker on the back. Hmm. Let me fix this focus. There we go. That's focused a bit better. Well, this is a pretty Christmas one. More, more stickers on the inside. It's from him. Happy Christmas. Thanks for being friends. Hope you have an awesome start to 2022. Stay awesome, your friend. And also do go check out her uh, Instagram. She does very lovely pictures, posts, things on there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, her Instagram is Liz Anime. I think. I'm very bad with names. <laughs> okay, so this one I can only tell by the cute rumor on the back is from my friend uh, on Instagram. What was her? I don't count name. Uh, Rumoru Shion? I think. Oh. So, yeah, that's a cute little robin and snowdrops. Oh. Ooh! Thank you! That's so sweet. It's got a little Soe keychain. 
the bone strap from that time I reincarnated as a slime. And maybe that is that had the name. Yeah. Anyway. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, she even drew Diablo as well. That's cute. That's sweet. <laughs> From your friend. Uh, that slightly weird person, Premier Oshiban. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so then last up, I did take a tiny peek because I want to show you who it was because I didn't have a return address on the back. So she did seal it with some very pretty gold sparkly washi tape, which I'll be keeping too because I'm that weird. And it was bulky too. So. I took a sneak peek so I didn't really see in depth what it was, but here is the card. That's nice. So, ooh. What was this? What was this? Go. Okay. Briefly not looking at what, what I just took out. Um, Merry Christmas. Have a wonderful festive season. Stay safe and I hope you like your gifts. From uh, Instagram name is Miss Supaku. She does a very lovely picture posts as well on her Instagram too. So you go check out if you're interested. Um, ooh, but do look at that. A little key ring of The Undertaker from Black Butler. That's cute. It's all funny grin there. That's super cute. Thank you. So then, ooh. These are bookmarks, I think. I think that's what it said, at least on one of them. Not that I can read Chinese or whatever. <laughs> it Only one of them says actually what it is in English, so it's, that's what it is. But anyway, this is so cute. Thank you so much. Here is this one. The Hualien ship couple um, from Heaven's Official Blessing. And then this one is from Mugazushi, the Wenzhen couple. And the, I guess the English name for this one was so cute. This is a Grandmaster of Demonic Cultivation. So it's this one. Which it's very nice. I mean they just look so nice. <laughs> I mean, look at they're very lovely to look at. I mean. Novel series that inspired the live action drama The Untamed. Rated 17 plus. Mm hmm. So, not for kitties, that's for sure. I mean, just some of the art. It's just so cute. And some not so cute, but still. A lovely artwork. I'm just getting distracted with the jewel now, aren't I? Then we, yeah. Like, if you're interested. That's. the blurb. Hmm. $19.99 USA. $24.99 Canadian. Um, well, I got this on pre-order on Amazon for £12.79, though I actually had a gift card 
a coupon voucher thing about for 10 so I only paid £2.79 which is good I was debating whether to get the uh, Heaven's Official Blessing one as well but this one is my favorite out of the three from that author so I just got that one and I'm planning to get the other volumes when they come out too I just love them as you can probably tell because that's from that as well and there's some more back there that's blurred but you, it's back there but yes mm-hmm I mean, doesn't he look cool? Uh, anyway, I'm just totally off on a tangent now. Anyway, thank you so much for the gifts and the Christmas cards. I, I do keep them in my scrapbook. I'll have to probably make another scrapbook soon because that one's getting pretty, uh, pretty bulky. <laughs> um, let's see. I guess I can reach in and pick up some that I don't really need, that can fit onto uh, the table if I move the cards, so I shall be right back. There's some stuff in the first bag. Um, as you see, this is a chocolate coin. Hmm. I mean, like a rainforest alliance, people in nature, uh, Turner's, the Lumix, Lumi Stellar Company. Anyway. This will last for until 9.23, so it lasts for a long time. Oh, right, this is a You Made Santa's Good List, a little elf on it, and uh, I got three from the sister. So, from the same sister, this was one of the uh, family goodie box, or well, one of two, so just swap these, because I like Compito. Um, this same sister also got me this. It's a, uh, I have no idea what it is actually. Um, ooh, it's a uh, rainbow gel pen, I guess. That's cool. Pretty cute. Then we've got a yellow striped washi tape. That's cute. Uh, then there's a hay sticker. <laughs> um, what else is in this little bitty bag? Ooh. Got some cute. Uh, it's not Japanese, it's Korean. But uh, some stickers. Some pretty cute ones on there. And then there's some more cute ones, which I don't know what it is. Is it a seal? I have no clue. Got some squishy stuff. <laughs> oh look, it's it's in a shrimp. <laughs> That's cute. Is that a seal onesie kind of thing? Huh. I have no idea what this animal is though. I mean, I'm guessing it's a seal. It's a chubby thing with flippers. Anyway, that's cute. And so I'm just put that down there for now. 
And one more thing in this. Oh no, two more. This, uh... <laughs> it's a uh, chubby panda sticker. That's... Uh... <laughs> but it is a very cute star and moon organza bag. Very nice and shiny too. Um, what's in here? It's got a My Pastel Moon. Maybe that's bestseller. Hmm. So then hide inside here is a little mini pink organza bag with well that's cute. A little acrylic keychain. Hmm. That's the back. That's cool. And it is this pink thing. It's my melody, right? I'm pretty sure it's a Sanrio character. Resting on a mushroom. I think it's Sanrio anyway. From my limited knowledge. <laughs> Pretty sure it's my melody. Pretty, pretty sure. Okay, so that's cute. Little key ring. So I'll just put that there. So this also came from my sister. The same sister, anyway. Here we have yellow washi tape. Hmm, brand. Twilight masking tape. Made in China. Anyway. My City Interesting Stationery Store. Is what it says. So that's a plain yellow. And here's a plain pastely orangey color. Nice. It's by the same brand. It is a uh, purple organza bag this time. So we've got a. It says Pookie Panda on it. That's the bag. What is it though? Is the question. Oh, that's cute. It's a trash can with a heart and a letter with a heart. Paper clips. That's me. Let me show you. Well, if I can even use it. Okay. Envelope with the heart. Now for the trash can with the heart. Aha! Does it just go up there? Up to that? There. That's pretty cute. Interesting paper clips. That's for sure. Now, this is also by Pookie Panda, and it is what well, looks like a donut, and I have no idea, a rattle? lollipop. I mean, you can take them apart. My sister thinks they're erasers. I'm not sure what they are. I mean, they could be erasers. It feels kind of like an eraser. Or it's just a very 
hard rubber like a little figure thing. I have no clue. But this is a stationary shop. I'm guessing it's an eraser. Anyway, that's cute. Cute stuff. Um, so next up, this is from my other sister, so these next three things are going to be from my different sister. Yeah. Here is a Tegel Multi Sharpener. I chose this out because it was pretty neat, because as you can see, it's got one to five, and it is a, uh, depends on like the Sharp uh, the length of the nib, I think. So I thought that was pretty neat. I actually first saw this when I watched the uh, the sharpener episode off uh, Sarah Renee Clark's YouTube video. She's got loads of cool like tutorials and stuff. So this. This is the uh, pencil blend, Zest It, used to blend colored pencils, wax pencils, and oil pastels. So I thought I'd uh, try this out, because you know it goes with the uh, sharpener. And to go with the sharpener and the blender is ta-da! You can't really see this camera. Ta-da! It is Arteza's 72 colored pencils expert. Very lovely tin. Um, originally I was sort of the maybe go for the 120 set, but by the time I decided, it was already sold out. <laughs> And on the back, it's got a sort of swatch list. American company, designed in the US. That was the UK side. The one I'm using. Um, oh, it's got a 20% off your next purchase. Join the Arteza Club. QR code thing. Uh, anyway, those are all the colors and the names. Seventy-two unique colors. Artist quality. Four millimeter lead. Break resistant. Bendable slash acid free. Uh huh. Non toxic. Let me just sort of move this aside a little. Well, wow. oh, it's also got this. Wow, I can really smell it. Um, it's even got a swatchy thing on the inside as well. It's got um, extremely light fast, good light fast, light fast, limited light fastness, and less light fast. If I remember right, that's to do with how fast the colors fade over time. I I heard the term, I just can't really remember what it was for. But isn't that so beautiful? Uh, anyway, I'm playing. So it's, it's got loads of uh, layers. 
as you see. And it's going to be another layer underneath that as well. That's awesome! I can't wait to try it out. Because a while ago I print off some coloring pa pages for a coloring competition thing that I used my sketch markers for, even though they're technically coloring pencil pages. Anyway, so I'm going to try them out soon. Can't wait! I don't actually have proper coloring pencils. I've got some, a few sets of uh, watercolor coloring pencils, but not actual plain coloring pencils. So I'm excited to try them out. And lastly, well not really lastly, I still got a, another bag to go. The last thing that's on my desk, just move that there. Move that back over there. Move that over there. Here. This should be the same as, well, like, at least, see my, my sleeve here. If you see, my sleeve is exactly the same. My PJs. For mom and dad. And this is for my sister. This is on the floor, so I'll we'll just... It is... Disney Princess Coverless Quilt and Pillowcase. Printed Pillowcase, single printed quilt with reversible, reversible design and a reusable storage bag. to wash and dry, super easy to store and take it away with you. Huh. Very nice. Well, at least the design isn't inside out, you know, on both sides. It's uh, just to flip the duvet over and get the other design. I do wonder if it's wider than my rose duvet. Though that one is a ah, the current duvet I have now is like you wash the cover, but not really the duvet on the inside. We'll see. Alright, that's, that's pretty nice. This one was from the same sister I got from the, the art stuff. But technically, as you probably know, I, I chose the art stuff, and this was a surprise one. I don't know what the pocket's for, but hey, it's handy. I guess you can use it for, like, put your water bottle in, or your toothbrushes and stuff, if you take the a reusable bag with you, um, like sleepovers and stuff. Not that I've ever really had a sleepover when I came to this country, but anyway, not that it really matters. doesn't really matter. So we'll get to that bag in a sec. Um, this, this is from my sister Sarah again. I'm gonna have to move things. I'll be right back. I got this as well. This is part two of the collector's edition of sort of online analysisation of War of Underworld. Uh, this is only part two because part one hasn't come in the post yet. For some reason, and they should have been sent on the same day. They should have sent it together, technically. Because I think they messaged saying that they would send them at the same time. But I guess... I mean... Be more of common sense to send them together because it's sale on postage for them because it was free for me. But anyway, look at that cover, it's so holographic and shiny. So, this, um, I'll be opening in a separate video. Alright, 
I think last time I opened, well obviously I opened it in two different videos because it came at two different times, but it's down there, the ionization, uh, first part, but uh, if you didn't notice, the ionization, GGO online spinoff, the alternative, and you got that movie, I'm excited for the second movie to come out, the uh, Sword of Online Prerogative Series 2, Series 1. So now, when uh, part 1 of this comes, I'll have everything Blu-ray. I only have this, the first part of Valicization, and Gun Girl Online Alternative in collector's editions. I only have like the Blu-ray of the other ones. But that's fine. I really love this one. I anyway, this will be in its own video. So moving on. What I showed you at the beginning. Oh. Um it's very it's very big wooden case. See? It's it's very big. It's almost as big as my playmat, actually. So if I put it in the corners, it's a very good, decent size. But anyway, I did take a sneak peek inside before. I initially opened it, but um, it, it's very messy. Because <laughs> I guess there wasn't anything to keep it in place. But yeah, that's... See? They're not really lined properly. So... I do wonder why some of these coloring pencils down here are chipped. That's interesting. I have no idea what this is. I mean, was there supposed to be something in here? I have no idea. Cause like it's got a space for a gel pen. And for a sharpener, but there isn't a sharpener in there. I do wonder where my sister found this. Um interesting. <laughs> it's got these scribblicious pencils. Like, I guess the full set. We got some HB. There's two, two ones. Huh. And there's some triangle normal color pencils. This could be used for paper. I have no idea. Huh. I mean, like... Interesting. You got some... Twisty? Crayola Twistables in here. It's like... I guess this. Two different brands of stuff. Huh. I'll have to look more in depth, I guess. So there's definitely some weird stuff. <laughs> Interesting. To be honest, I have no idea what this is for. Or what they were used to be. Um, hmm. Okay. Cause like, let's go that stuff. And this layer of coloring stuff. I have no clue. 
At least has a white and a black. I have no idea what that is. And like, it's got some used. Okay. I'll go in more depth later. I'm guessing this should be a place for paper. Because otherwise, there's nothing to stick it down, otherwise. Huh. Anyway, that's pretty neat. I'm like, unless it's kind of like a... I mean... Like, for instance... If you turn it this way, then open it. And, and had a stick, and it could be like a, a drawing board, easel type of thing. I'm so not sure, but I'll go through stuff. Because, like, it wasn't in any plastic wrap or anything when I opened it. So, I guess my sister could have got it from a second hand shop. I don't know. Anyway, it smelled pretty cool. Thermal undershirts, you know. So that's a lot. And a two. And a three. So we got black, pink, and gray. We got another gray. Hang on, is this a different size? No, the same size. <laughs> but anyway. Huh. Just folded weirdly. Well, I did get socks too. <laughs> it's some. I'll probably still find it somewhere. I don't know where. But I'll, I'll find it later. So those are me undershirts. Which is good. So I got some. I actually don't even have any undershirts. So here's some popcorn snack. Just think of like quavers. So that's neat. And some Korean ramen. Chicken and onions, they were. Mm. The other ones are spicy. Seafood. Yeah. Spicy seafood stew flavor. Mm. These are Korean noodles. One that I like, the shin cup noodle, long shin, gourmet spicy. Yeah. 
custard cream cake. Some strawberry chewy, um, I guess, chewy, I'm not sure what it is, but strawberry flavor. And some, well, two bottles. That's from the Quali Street family tent. We have two bottles of this Arizona original green tea with honey drink. Two bottles of these. Um, I've never tried it, so I'll have a, I'll have a sip. You might want to have a sip now. Why not? Yeah. Not bad. I'm not a tea person. I'll uh, try it. I'm chilled to see if it tastes any different. If it tastes better. But green tea with honey, with sugar and sweetener. Oh yeah, that's. Not bad, actually. Doesn't really have the tea aftertaste that I don't really like. So, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, I don't know where my socks are. I'm gonna have to go check and see if they fell out along the way. <laughs> so, I'll be back. I don't know if I should do this video, like, complete it finish editing and everything. If the part one hasn't come yet, because that's technically part of this video. But it'll be in its own video because I'm not going to be opening it in that video anyway. Uh, decisions, decisions. But anyway, that's a lot of ramen there. Obviously there was more in the box, but they had some doubles and stuff. And technically it's the family bought, like, from my sister to the family. But anyway, num num. I love me some ramen. Um, yes, so... Also some neighbor, um, gifts were like, uh, the Sh Victoria biscuit boxes. Um... The Quality Street box. I don't know if there was another one or not. But anyway, yeah. That's everything there. If I find my socks, I'll add it to the end. If not, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. And then over notification. And I hope you have a uh, lovely, wonderful, magical Christmas. Whether it's by yourself, with your family. And yeah. And a happy new year. Over and out. Turns out, mom put them away without telling me. So I didn't lose them.